views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. Hi, welcome. This is Dr. John Demartini. This is one of the most amazing and inspiring shows that you can listen into. If you want to be on the edge of your seats, if you want to open up your heart, if you want to expand your mind, and you want to meet incredible people, stay tuned because you're just about to experience a transformative radio show that will change your life. And you're listening to the Dr. Pat Show that's coming up right next. Welcome to the Dr. Pat Show. Talk radio to thrive by. Powerful, inspiring, and coming to you live, bringing you stories of people like you and me busting through and living life full out. Get ready to dare to wonder what your life would be like if you knew you could not fail. Hey, everybody. Welcome. I want to welcome you. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I don't know how many times to say welcome. I'm so happy. Happy, happy, happy to have all of you tuning us in and turning us on. It's so, so amazing to have you join us here on the show today. So, yeah, very cool. We have got a great, great show for you all today. Uh, I'm going to tell you, like, right away that the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take down our call-in number for the show because I have got in the house my friend, my colleague, my co-host today, psychic medium John G. Sutton. Now, the call-in number uh, that I want you to write down is for this show today so that you can call in and connect with John, get your on-air reading for the show today. It's 1-800-930-2819. And we're going to be taking calls throughout the show. So, So don't be discouraged if you don't get in right away. Um, we're just going to keep rocking and rolling during the show today. 1-800-930-2819. John G. Sutton, one of Britain's most respected psychic mediums, is joining me. We're going to talk about his career as an author, writer of numerous best-selling books, 22 years as a feature editor of the newspaper Psychic World. His book, Psychic Pets, became an international bestseller featured by Walt Disney on the Animal Planet, channel along with john himself scholastic published this title as their book of the month beyond all of that i sat at the same table with jk rowling when she was banging out her first harry potter not a novel but you know all of that aside you know he is an amazing psychic clairvoyant of psychicworld.net make sure you write down his website psychicworld.net You know, he has written many books on paranormal, supernatural subjects. Amazing, amazing. Want to talk about ghosts? Let's talk with John about it. You want to talk about pets? Let's talk with him about it. You know, you want to talk about psychic anything? Let's talk to John G. Sutton about it. You know, joining me here today on the show, uh, for those of you out there, I can't tell you how uh, quickly you're going to want to call into the show because I know the last time he and I were on air, the lines got jammed quickly. 1-800-930-2819. Come on and give us the world. John, it is so great. John G. Sutton joining me here today. Great to have you on the show. Thank you very much, Pat. What a wonderful introduction. How can one top that? <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, 22 years I've been the feature editor of Psychic World. It's just absolutely flown by. It, it only seems like uh, 20 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it, it's been absolutely uh, a wonderful journey uh, over this thing. And you talked briefly about ghosts. Let me just tell you what's been happening to me. Uh, yeah. Very str- very strangely lately, I have been uh, waking in the early hours of the morning uh, with visitations. And uh, the angels and, and my guides are bringing me signs. And, and in actual fact, last night I woke, it would probably be about 2 or 3 o'clock, and there was a... a a, a luminous golden glowing figure at the side of my bed and it was it was showing me a sign and it said i senai i c 
I-S-E-N-I, Isenai. Now, the Isenai were uh, a, 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 a tribe of people who were in ancient Britain uh, at the time that the Romans invaded, and their leader was Bordesia. Uh, and Bordesia set to war with the Romans, uh, and I was shown a sign last night that said Isenai. So it, it may very well be, I mean, I'm not actually aware of all my past lives, that uh, one of my past lives was as a, an Isenai warrior, Fighting the wow. invading, fighting the invading Romans. So, so that's something I will be tuning in and, and asking my guys to illuminate me on. But everybody uh, has got guardian angels and guides. So do ring in today and talk to me a little bit about your own personal guardian angels and guides. And I absolutely feel and certain that. Uh, one of the main guides that people will have is members of their family. A lot of people talk mm -hmm. about uh, about guardian angels being some elaborate goddess or something like that, or they or they're, they're visited by Toot and Carmoon or whatever. Uh, one of my guides is my father, <laughs> who, who died 40, 40 years ago, and and he comes to see me and he helps me. And another of my guides is my grandfather, who died. 29 years ago and I looked after him in the latter years of his life and he comes to see me and helps me these are the people who were close to me these are the people who would want to help me and these are the people that do bring me visions and, and messages from the world beyond so you don't need to actually have uh, 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 Chingich Kook as your guide you, you can, you're very likely to have a member of your family who's passed before who's coming to help you and to guide you so do call in and, uh, and I will do my very best to tune in for you, and you can ask me the questions that you want. I'll give you the answers that I get, because the way it works yeah. for me, the way it works for me is through me, I give it as I get, as you know. Yeah, and you know, John, I wanted to tell everybody, too, that, you know, it, it doesn't always have to be about you. I mean, you, you know, you are the author of the book Psychic Pets. So, I mean, this could be about, you know, just about anything going on in folks' lives. But, you know, you talk about ghosts. Let's, let's have a chit-chat about that for a moment if we can. You know, when I was – and then we're going to go right to the phones because we've got people waiting. We, we already got these phones already hooked up here. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think we're going to have to skip that first break. <laughs> I know we're going to have to skip the break. Oh, wow. um, yeah. yeah, I know. Uh, but you predicted it. You said that to me before the show. That's exactly what you said. I didn't think it would happen in the first three minutes of the show, but it did. Um, plenty, a lot yeah, of. I, I said you were going to be inundated. Inundated, <laughs> Taylor. <laughs> no. He wasn't lying. He for sure was not lying. No, no. And, and you're oh, also, you're, you're, but, but let me tell you this. Uh, <laughs> yeah. it's, it's, a bit, it's about two years ago now. I was doing a TV series for in Ireland. And at the start of the T, and it was a two hour show, live two hour show, very similar to this, but on television live in, in Ireland. And I was able to predict the names of the people that would phone oh. in in the second half of the show. Hey, I'm not sure oh. I can do that today, but there's somebody calling into your station right now from, I believe they're from New York, just outside wow. Queens. I can just see that. But anyway, uh, you, you will okay. know because you can see where people are calling from. All I can do is give you as I get. So people call in and I will give it to you as I get. As you say, it could be about your pets. It could be about people who have passed before. But if you specifically want me to look at a different aspect of your life, then I will do. You can ask me and I will tune in. You know, John, we're going to go to the phones, but i got to tell you something really, really kind of cool. You know, I, I was listening to you chatting, and, uh, oh, my gosh, I am seeing uh, – we get to see all the calls that come in, meaning that we get to see every time somebody dials a phone, we get, like, a little message that says these people are trying to get into the show. Uh, I think we have a record-breaking number right now of people within the first – three minutes of the show that have ever tried to call in. And so we are going to get to the phones in a hot minute. Um, one of the things that I want to know, and maybe we can address this as people bring their messages on air, the minute that I prepared for today's show, the word expansiveness came into my being. I do not know what that is from. I do not know what that means. But I'm going to let it unfold during the show today, and we'll see what shows up. Why don't we go to the phone? Okay, okay. Let, let, let's, let's have a look. Yeah, all right. Well, let's go out to Susan uh, calling us from Seattle looking just for a general reading. 
Hello, Susan. Can you hear me? Yes, I can, John. Thank you for taking my call. You talk about Ireland. Well, that's where I'm from. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yes, yeah, Susan, I was on TV3 in Ireland. Uh, wonderful place. And and the strange thing was I, I was actually broadcasting from Budapest in Hungary uh, live into <laughs> Ireland. And, and the producers <clears throat> had no idea what I was talking about uh, because I was I was speaking to the Irish people and I know Ireland very well. I've been there many times, and and for a joke, I was t- I was telling the people in Ireland about my wonderful times in Dublin when I stayed at the Hotel Garda, <laughs> which I you and I you and I both know that that is the police station. <laughs> But the but the producers in the producers in in Budapest had no idea because all of Ireland were rolling about laughing as I was telling everybody about how rude the staff were. <laughs> and the food was terrible. <laughs> yeah, very soggy cornflakes. The checking procedure wasn't much fun either. <laughs> So, so, Karen, I, if you're going I, back to that country, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to the hotel garden again. <laughs> yeah, I'm so no, that, that 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 was absolutely hilarious. I loved doing the the the, the TV shows in Ireland. So, Susan, you, you want you want a general reading, yeah? Tell me, have yeah, you thinking of are, are you thinking of flying over to to Ireland next year? Next year, yes, yeah. Mm-hmm. Because I, yep. I, 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 I feel that, that, that you are going to Ireland next year. But when you go to Ireland, you're going to visit... Uh, listen, do you know a place called County Clare? I do indeed. Mm-hmm. Yep. Does that, well. connect, does that connect with you in any specific way? Because I've just yes. asked them, they, they, they mentioned County Clare to me. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah. No, it's a beautiful uh, part of the country. So we would certainly be going there. You certainly are going there, and you and you and you are going to Galway as well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, all that west coast, yeah. Absolutely. You, 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 we're, you, we're, 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 we're doing good PR now on the radio for uh, the uh, west coast of Ireland because it's beautiful. <laughs> it, it is. It is. It is a really beautiful place. I've been up there to Westport mm-hmm. and all around that there. Uh, but you, but you yeah. are going. You are going next year, and you you will you will really enjoy that. But also, I hear that you're going to London. Uh, yeah, well, we're thinking of going to London and and maybe even beyond that. Well, you, you'll be touring Europe certainly, but you are you are definitely going to London and you go, and you're going to Ireland, and, and I can see that you that you are doing that. Uh, and also, I'm hearing something about uh, about about dogs. Do you have dogs, Susan? I do have a dog. Yeah, you've had a number of dogs over the years, but the, there is a dog with you at the moment. Yeah, but you talk to yeah. this dog, don't you, Susan? Yes, I mean it's kind of we have a love hate relationship with the dog. <laughs> yeah, oh, I do, should I say? Yeah. No, no. You, you, your dog likes it when you talk to it gently, but sometimes you talk yes. to it quite, uh, quite aggressively. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Well, I mean, <laughs> but, but, when she gets in my way when I'm coming down the stairs and I'm running late, like. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Susan. Yeah, it's it, it's a great dog. The, the 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 dog loves you. Does it have a slipper or something that it chews? Um, uh, chews on bones, and that's what he chews on. Or chews on, yeah, she, she has, chews on things. Yeah, but definitely. Uh, uh, do you have your own business, Susan? No, I don't. Mm, I do I not. Some, I see something to do with running a business. Yeah. Well, I'd like to, but I have no idea. I'd love to. Mm-hmm. Because I, um, uh, go on. Uh, well, I don't run a business, but I mean, when I'm employed, I'm I'm um, responsible for my own business there. But it's not my business. It's working for a, it's a business for... within a large corporation. Yeah. Oh, all right. You you, you should so, yeah, be the listen. person. In, you should be the person in charge, and eventually, I, <clears throat> I do feel that that you will run, run your own business. Uh, and also, I see something to do with real estate. Okay. Yeah. Are you looking at a new property? No, we're not. Mm-mm. No, no, Mm-mm. no, we're not. We just we mm. moved last year or beginning of this year, so that was. Oh, bad, so, but... so you so you are in a new relatively new property. Yes, in January. Well, actually, not it was last October. We bought it a year ago. So a year ago. We, okay. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
All right, okay. <clears throat> I hear something about real estate, so maybe there's going to be some more property yeah. ahead, but you, it's, it's only a recent yeah. one here, yeah? I feel, I feel that you're yeah. in a very happy relationship at the moment and, the, and that money yeah. is going to improve, yeah? You, you're, not, uh, you're not bothered at the moment, but money is going to improve, yeah? Uh, yeah, and, well, and what, I hope. Pardon? Yes, that's what I. That's my. I wanted to improve for myself. <laughs> no, it, it is going to improve. You've been concerned about money, but don't be concerned about money because money is actually. It, it's going to be a lot better. Maybe not directly now, but as we get into next year, okay. There, there, there is there is going to be uh, an, an improvement in 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 money. Does your partner have an SUV? Yes. Yeah, you got a nice, nice SUV. I, I can see a nice big. Well, I call them fairly big cars, SUVs. Yeah, uh, I, I can see. Yeah. I, I, that, that's that's right, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. And also, have you have you got connections with New York? Um. Yeah, I mean, I have free a friend there, a friend there. No mm. relatives, but friends. no, no. But you've got connections with New York because you've yeah, been invited. You're being invited to New York, and I feel that you're going to go around about Christmas time. Has it been suggested? Yes, actually, it has. Good, uh, because yeah, you, yeah. You, book, you book your flight. Book your flight <laughs> now. <laughs> yes, I just need to get the time off work. <laughs> oh, there problem. we go. Yeah, Susan, <laughs> Susan, you're, 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 you're almost in charge. You tell them that you're going. They'll, they'll be all right with that. And next year there's more money for you, so they must want to hold on to you. But I believe that you are going to do something uh, uh, quite unique for your own self. Money is coming in. I feel that your health is okay. Uh, you need to go and get your eyes checked, by the way, Susan. Okay, yeah. Have you, have you been, been thinking about this? Um, no, yeah, yes and no. I just feel like, oh, it's age and it's where I'm at, and that's kind of what I put it down to, but I should probably go out and check. I'd, I'd definitely have them check because, I mean, uh, unless you're going to be like me and buy these uh, silly uh, reading glasses, but uh, yes. I'd definitely go and, go and have them checked, yeah. But I do feel that you've got a happy life immediately ahead from you. You've got a nice partner there. Your dog's actually very good. But I, yes. listen, have you been singing around the house, Susan? Singing, I love music. You know, that's part yeah. of the, uh, my culture, I suppose. Yeah, I love music. I, I wouldn't say, well, I could sing, but I could crack the china. That's <laughs> the extent of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah but you do have you do have music round the house. Play the Dubliners. You'll soon be hearing the diddly men. Oh, good God! Yes, <laughs> do tell me about it. and my kids. Anything there with the kids? I guess. <laughs> Uh, one, one, one of them's going into uh, to, uh, extremely clever. Is, she, is one of them doing a, a higher degree or something? Well, they're going to be both. One is, in, one is in college and the other is going to be going to college. And one is extremely clever. Yes, she is. One, <laughs> yeah, one, one of them is going to go on to do a PhD, I feel. Yes, that would be, that would yeah. be true. No, sir, yeah, she's still in, graduating high school this year. Yeah, but she's very, very clever, this lady. Uh, and something that yeah. she's writing is going to get published. She's she's very eloquent and very gifted at expressing herself. That, that, yes. But your, but your children are going to do really well. Susan, there's lots of people waiting. It's been great to be on the phone. Yeah, I, I wish we had more time, but we don't because yeah. it's a radio show. You know how to get over yeah. me, psychicworld.net. Thank you very much, Susan. You've been a wonderful yeah, guest. Thank you. you. Yeah, yes, I, Susan, I, I, with all of that information coming out, I would get on John's site and book, book a full session with him, boy, because I don't know. He's going through your entire lineage here. So, <laughs> oh, my gosh, what a great show. We're going to stay right with the phone. Taylor, who do we have next? All right, well, let's go down to Aaron in Renton, Washington. So, Aaron, you are live on with John and Dr. Pat. Hi, Aaron. How are you? I'm doing good. How about you? I'm doing good. Let me introduce well, you to my friend, good. John G. Sutton. Yep. Hello. Hello there. Can you hear me? Yeah? Yes, I can. Y y your name is Aaron, yeah? Yes. Okay, Aaron, yeah. Listen, as I'm speaking to you, yeah, I know that, you've, that you say you're in a place called Rent, and I don't know I'm in England myself, yeah? But, but I feel there's going to be a change of location. Can, can yeah. you hear me okay? Hey, hey yeah. Uh, yeah. let me just say, Aaron, do me a favor. Turn your radio off in the background. 
Oh, okay. Thanks. You're All right, welcome. There we go. All right. All right. Can you, you can hear me, Aaron, yeah? Yes, I yeah. can. All right. Okay. Do you have any contacts in California, in Los Angeles? Yes, I do. Because you're going down there, and, th and there's a career I opportunity for you. Do you know about this? I actually was planning on going down there in about a year. Well, it will be, uh, it'll, it'll be a little bit quicker than a year. I think it will be somewhere about March and April of next year when, when the opportunity comes and, and you've really got to go for it. Do you know a place oh. in, outside Los Angeles called Marina Del Rey? I've heard of it, yes. Because I can see you standing next to a sign that says Marina Del Rey. <clears throat> and there's, a, there's, there's going to be a big opportunity there. Uh, have you worked as a manager in the past, Aaron? Uh, kind of, I guess you could say that. Because you're going to be put in charge of a project. Does that make some sense to you? Uh, it, will, it will do, Aaron. It yeah. makes, it makes a little bit. Yeah, it will do when you get down there. And they say, look, you're in charge of this. We, we, want, we want you to run this, yeah? Uh, and also, I know it seems a little bit personal, this, but have you been doing something different with your hair? Yeah. <laughs> because people are commenting on this. Tell me I'm right, Aaron. You are. I, I, am, I know I'm right. People are commenting on, on what you've done to your hair. Yeah, it actually suits you, by the way, Aaron, yeah? Uh, and and also you've got to sign a contract. I can see you signing a, a contract because when you go down to Los Angeles into California, that area, yeah, you, you, they're going to want you to sign to say that you will work for them for a set period of time. Have they mentioned this really? to you yet? Yeah, because no, they have not. Because when you go down there, they, they can't have you walking in and starting this project and then just walking out. So you are going to be a, an important leading member of the team, yeah? And also I can see something to do with you walking into, the, in, into what looks like the woodlands. Have you, been, have you been doing country walks in the past? Yes, I have. Uh -huh, because I can see you doing country walks. Has it an ambition of you to, 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 to walk the Appalachian Way? Do you know what yeah, I mean? The, the Appalachian way, way. Yeah, it's like into the woodlands, the hillbilly land, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Are you familiar with that, Aaron? Yeah. Yeah, yeah the you, Appalachian you... Trail. I have a friend that actually just did it uh, last summer. Uh <laughs> Yeah, it is a cool journey. You, you're going to enjoy that, Aaron, yeah? But you've got a specific question to it to do with romance, haven't you? What's your question, well, Aaron? My, my question was, is there a way of telling who I was in my past life? Hmm. Uh, um, th th there is a, there is Aaron, and, and what you can do, I feel, is use automatic writing, put the pen onto a blank sheet of paper, uh, and allow it to write, Yeah. I feel that if you if you go back, there's also something to do, Aaron, with with Canada. Canada, you know if, yeah, Canada. Yeah. Do, do you know if you go back in your family, there's any connections to Canada to Ontario? I know there's a connection in Canada, but I don't know like where at. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, it, it's near Toronto. It, it's it's in the area called Ontario. Yeah. And, and there is definitely a connection in your family back there. And I do feel that, uh, that, that, that there, are, there, there, there is a re relation of yours that was one, one of the Aboriginal Indians, yeah? But from Canada, yeah. not, from, not from America. Do you know this? I know there was a relation with someone. I think it was my one of my grandparents. Right. Well, there, there definitely goes back in time to the, one of the Aboriginal Indians, yeah? Mm -hmm. but, but this is this is in Canada. If you want to research it, do some genealogy and get back, but also use automatic writing. I feel, Aaron, that you are more sensitive than you realise and that you are starting to open up your psychic passages. 
pathways, uh, you do that. Use automatic writing, tune in, use meditation. I take it that you do know how to meditate. If you don't know how to meditate, yeah. ju just get yourself a book from the library and uh, and study that. It's all involved with controlling the breathing and and allowing your mind to open. You can't have a blank mind. Nobody can because there's lots of things comes into it. But concentrate on something like a crystal or a flame or incense, the smoke of incense, and that will enable you to, to receive messages more quickly from the world beyond. But you are, you are a gifted individual. You're going to enjoy your, your fantastic new future in California and Los Angeles. And mark my words, you will see that sign saying Marina Del Rey. When you see the contract, sign it because it's good fortune ahead. Okay. Th thank you very uh, much for yeah. calling in, Aaron. Thanks, Aaron. Have hey, Aaron, day. I got one little comment for you because this was interesting uh, in my journey as well before we go to break. Yeah, one of the things that um, is interesting to explore is what is motivating you to look at your past life? And the reason I'm asking you that question is because something in the moment that you're in, Something, something has got you wondering about something. And so uh, usually what happens is when we want to know more about our past lives, there's something that's looking, staring you right in the face now. And that's the thing that I believe you should really take a closer look at, whatever it is. So thank you, Aaron. Thanks for calling in today. Yeah, have a We're going to take a short... Yeah, to check that out, because I think when you dig deep into that thing that's there and you sm smack in the eye right there, you're going to get a ton of information, okay? I don't want to talk about it on air, but you know what it is. All right. <laughs> All right, Taylor, let's go to take a short break. When we come back, we're going right on the phones again. For those of you that want to get uh, sign up for a complete session with John G. Sutton, go ahead and go to the website. And I want to make sure all of you have this website. It's pretty easy, psychicworld.net, psychicworld.net. We're going to take a short break. When we come back, uh, we're going to make sure that you have the telephone number, and we're going to go right to the phone. Stay tuned. We'll be right back with my co-host today, psychic medium John G. Sutton. We'll be right back. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio, the new mainstream in radio. Hi, this is Leslie Fontaine with Share Alchemy on Transformation Talk Radio. And here's your tip of the day. When we choose to release the baggage that's in the way of manifesting our destiny, it doesn't mean that we have to abandon everyone. And if you think that, then you are being held by an energy that can feel extremely negative. If I ask you where you're feeling it, common places being the solar plexus or your heart space, you will notice that the joy is gone. You are withdrawing energetically, pulling back. When we came into this world, it wasn't to be miserable and to tolerate and to live according to the needs and desires of others. So choose now. What are you wanting in your life? Are you hiding behind others and their needs so you don't have to step onto your own life path? Guilt is learned. Let's undo it and get our joy back. Let's switch up the language. Join me on Sheer Alchemy on Transformation Talk Radio or visit LeslieFontaine.com. Are you ready to move past limiting beliefs and unconscious obstacles that are holding you back from financial prosperity? Do you want to be free from debt and that feeling of being disempowered? Mary Jane Allen is a financial healer and joy creation specialist who uses her unique set of tools included in her financial healing process to help her clients move past those beliefs and fears. For more information and to contact Mary Jane, visit her website, manifestyourlifedream.com and begin your financial healing process today. Tune in to Psychic Cup of Coffee with Kelly Sutliff every Tuesday, 1 p.m. Pacific Time, 4 p.m. Eastern Time on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Kelly is a 14-year veteran of psychic ability, and she offers inspiration and comfort to those dealing with grief when they have lost a loved one, and also shares with people that the psychic world is very real. Call 1-800-930-2819 during the show with your questions and visit PsychicMediumKelly.com. That's PsychicMediumKelly.com. If you're one of the millions of Americans suffering from anxiety, you probably know how powerless and out of control this emotion can make you feel. 
This is why it is so important to remember that anxiety is created by your mind, which means that you can learn to use your mind to uncreate it. Hello, my name is Dr. Friedman Schaub. My award-winning book, The Fear and Anxiety Solution, provides you with a step-by-step -step breakthrough process to understand and resolve the root causes of your anxiety and build a solid foundation of confidence and inner peace. If you are ready to take your power back, visit thefearandanxietysolution.com. That's thefearandanxietysolution.com or call 866-903-6463. That's 866-903-MIND. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio, the best in talk radio. Everybody, welcome back. Wow. I love doing this show with John. John G. Sutton is in the house. John, before we go right back to the phones, because I know we got a ton of people waiting, uh, and it's another ton of people trying to get in, uh, tell folks a little bit about the best way to get a complete uh, reading with you, a complete session, because what we're doing on radio is really like a snapshot, a little snippet of a much bigger scenario. So can you tell folks how they can sign up for that and find out more about you? Sure, yeah. All you've got to do is go online. They can actually type my name into Google, John G. Sutton. I mean, I think there's about pff, half a million hits up there. But the right way to get hold of me is through my website, which is psychicworld.net. Uh, and on there, you can book uh, an email reading with me. You can book a, a, a full half an hour session uh, on a one to one basis when I will do the reading over Skype or over the telephone, whichever is, is best. And uh, the system that I use is PayPal, so uh, maybe I shouldn't plug it, but it's absolutely secure. <clears throat> yeah, it is. Certainly it's secure, because I, it's, it takes me some time to get in it myself, and it's my account. <clears throat> so I have, to yeah. be, uh, I have to be certain that uh, anybody using that site to purchase anything, it is perfectly safe. And you can Actually, speak to John, me. Actually, John, I couldn't agree with you more. I mean, I have uh, been using PayPal myself for years now, and it is the only uh, form of uh, exchange that has been as secure as it's been. And, boy, you I don't know, whatever they're up to, it's working. So, yeah, M thank you for making it so very easy. Again, folks, go to psychicworld.net or just Google John, John G. Sutton, uh, any way you can. Uh, make sure that you schedule your time with him. He books up really quickly, especially after these shows. Mr. Taylor. Yes, ma'am. We will uh, Where head. Do we want? Yeah, <laughs> we'll head out to uh, Seattle. We got John calling in. Uh, John and talk to uh, John and Dr. Pat. So, John, you're live on the air. <laughs> Hi, Dr. Hi, John. Pat. Hi, John. Oh. How can we help you today? Um, I'm working with a local group um, that's in opposition to the so-called smart grid or smart meter system that they're um, yeah. inflicting yeah. on people yeah. all over the world. Yep. And my question was, um, does John see the local movement in Seattle being effective in stopping it? And if not, and what should we do? Okay. Yeah, in stopping yeah. it because of all the problems with it. Right. All right. So can you, can you hear me perfectly well, John? I can. Yeah. Uh, yes. First of all, uh, have you been raising a petition? Um, yes, we do. We have a petition. Um, we've done some legal maneuvers. Um, and, well, you know, just, just, let me, just educating just let me tell the public. You, yeah, is yeah, the petition is going to work because you're actually sending it through to the local authorities. Yeah. Tell yes. me I'm right. Yeah. Uh, and, yes. and the people who are in the local authority, they're elected, aren't they? Um, yes, yes. Yeah. Some well, of them, I they, mean, the utility company itself, th those are paid people. Um, yeah, but the, there are people in uh, in administration that are they're representing the, the, the population, and they're, they're elected people. They're the people who've got to listen to you, because if they don't listen to you, then they won't be there next time. So 
I, I would put that straight on the line to them, tell them, you know, listen to this, because this is important. Uh, it seems to me there's a deal of exploitation going on here. Would you agree with that, John? Yeah. Yes, I'm, I, I'm on your side here. I actually do feel that, that that it's time that somebody did stand up to these people and say this is not acceptable. You you are going to make your voice heard. Yeah. Uh, have you been considering hiring a, a venue to give a speech? Because I see you standing up in front of many hundreds of people, and it's going to be uh, it's going to be televised. By the way, John. Hmm. So I don't know if you're going to have a demonstration or if, you, if it's uh, mm -hmm. something like this. Are you planning this, John? Yeah. No, Are not currently. We're, we're really small group. We've, we've shown films all over the area in little, you know, small uh, meetings. Nothing very huge. Maybe a couple hundred people at the most have showed up. Oh. That's all right. A couple of hundred people. You're standing up. You're getting your message out there. Yes, John. It is going. You, you are going to be effective. You you are going to mm. do this. And it's not just in Seattle where this is taking place. There are various other areas. And what you've got to do is get it out online. Yeah, get it out on the internet. And yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's out currently, there. There's there's tons of groups all over the world. Oh, in the United States, there's over a yeah. hundred groups that are opposing yeah. this. Yeah, yeah um, I know the angel lady, Sue Storm, was an enormous force to try to stop uh, the effort in Chicago and the Chicago area. Um, have you been to our local news here? Have you brought the conversation to them? We have. They're not really, um, they're not totally open to hearing it so far. Yeah, I, mean, I know. I know. Some, yeah. Sometimes yeah. they just turn a blind eye and go with the status quo. Or just yeah. on you. You're making a breakthrough here, John. You make, you're going to make a breakthrough. Uh, you've got to get everybody together and have, an, have, have like a national s statement here. I feel that online, the petition is going to go online. Get it, get it all over the place. Get it to the local officials. Get it to the national officials. This is going to work, but it's not going to be easy, as you've found out. Right. But but I do know that you are you are going to do this, and uh, it, it's time that somebody did stand up, and they've got to stand up and be counted. I feel that you are going to succeed. It's going to take a little bit of time, a, a lot of effort, but uh, eventually that will work. But you need media coverage, and you are going to do that because there's going to be some form of orchestrated demonstration, and you're a part of that, John. So stay cool. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, John. Thanks. Thanks, John. Thanks for joining us today. Uh, boy, I'll tell you, it's a really, uh, really quite an initiative over here in the States, John, about these uh, smart meters and what they really mean and uh, and how they affect people. And, uh, I mean, the you know, for those cameras. of you that are, well, the for those of you guys on. out there that are thinking, what the heck is it? Uh, you know, please go ahead and get on Google, and you'll be able to just Google Smart Meter and find out what that actually is about and, uh, and, and so forth. So, you know, lots of information on there, Smart Meter, you know, converters, just a lot. Get, get educated. Get educated. That's what we want to do here. All right, Mr. Taylor, who do we have next? All right. Well, we have uh, Laura calling in from Mill Creek, and it looks like she has a product that she's also trying to get out there to the rest of the public. So she has a question about that. So, Laura, you're live with John and Dr. Pat. Hey, Laura, Hi. how can we help you today? Thanks Hi. for taking the call. You bet. Hello. Laura, can you hear me? Yep, I can hear you. Um Laura, you've got a question. Yeah. You've got, you've got, you got a question. A question. Uh, I do have a question. For the okay. last 10 years, we have been distributing a nutraceutical product to medical, um, under nutraceuticals, all registered, that coats viruses so they can't reproduce. And it's, an, it's a natural compound. Um, we have felt very much concerned about what's going on in Ebola. Uh, obviously, maybe not a cure, but a support for the immune system, support for people. Yeah. So and, just give me a second. Just give me a second. Just give me a second, Laura. Yeah. Uh, have yeah. you had this? Have you had this evaluated? Uh, yes, we have. Um, we don't have clinical trials because then we become a drug. But we do have in vitro and vivo testing at several major 
like NIH and things like that. And um, they, they've just come out with a, we just received a letter saying that the FDA is, is making it known to people who are not drugs, that don't have clinicals, that they cannot make any claims and they will be in serious trouble if they even think about mentioning the Ebola virus. So All right. well, you, can under I, you can understand why, can't you, Laura? Yeah, you can understand I, I why, do. because if if people are taking this and, and purchasing it and uh, it's it's not been evaluated, as I said, you know, uh, and, it, and it isn't licensed, then you are no wonder you're getting on the wrong side of the FDA. That's the uh, the Federal Drugs Association. Is that right? I mean, mm -hmm. don't forget I'm English. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you can you can understand why uh, there is a right way to do this, uh, and if you're marketing it as a herbal remedy, then uh, it, it's a herbal remedy, and you and you will be able to do that. But <clears throat> to actually market it as a cure for Ebola, you know, as as they've correctly said, you know, you you can't really do that. You can't make those claims because it has to be evaluated. It has to be blind drug t testing and all that. Uh, that uh, that's just me telling you this, but I also know that you are doing this uh, to help humanity. You're not just doing this as a project. Right. You're doing this to help people. Tell me I'm right. It could be. It also right now is legally to say it is a immune support. I mean, big time. Yeah, I'm sure that, that, that if you get yourself a, a, a lawyer that, that will tell you exactly what you can say and what you can't say, then you'll be perfectly safe. But uh, from what I understand of the FDA in the USA, they can be quite strict. So I wouldn't get on yeah. the wrong side. I wouldn't get on the wrong side of that. So take the best advice yeah. you can get. I do feel that you will succeed with this. You're doing it for the right reasons. It's not just a money-making venture. And I do see that you will succeed. But there is something that you are going to do when, you, when you're taking this to a far bigger company who is going to market it for you on a, on a general basis. Does that make some sense? Um, yes, we, we now have um, nutraceutical reps that, that go to the doctors, that, and so they have been selling this 10 years to medical. So, that's good. Um, yeah. Yep. So, so, so you, yeah, you are getting there. You're getting there gradually. Uh, take on board what the FDA have said. Don't get on the wrong side of them. I feel that you will succeed. If you need to take it any further, take it to a major company. I mean, all right. To, you might not want to do yeah. that, but that's the only way to get evaluation. Yeah. Laura, thank you very much for phoning in. Yeah, Laura, thank you. And Laura, I want thank to you. say one last thing to you. I mean, you know, you, you're working with an audience now in the world that is very uh, sophisticated and educated. And you're going to find that there are many, many people out there that have brought homeopathy and have brought natural medicine to the forefront. And they've done it in a way that may not be in direct association with the conventional uh, marketing that happens. But folks have been very, very successful. You know, you've heard Mary Jane Mack and the nutrition she uses on the show. You've heard Dr. Darvish and their approach to things. So, you know, the good news is you got to put yourself in front of the people that are going to get you so that you're not getting in trouble with saying some things that are not going to be legally correct. You know, we have a sophisticated group of people here and, you know, anecdotal stories and, and allowing them to have information so that they can make an informed decision is all you need to do. We live in a new world now, a new world. So, you know, think yeah. about that in how you're, you're stepping out there because the people will find you, okay? Thank you. Yes, thank you, you very bet. much. You bet. Thank you. Wow, we are so psychicworld.net. That's how you're going to be able to find John. Wow. We're going to skip the next break, Taylor, because yeah. you know what? I know people are still trying to call into the show. Yeah, as soon as one wow. line opens up, it just fills right up. So uh, let's quickly go out to Kimberly out in Everett, and she has a question about uh, people and animals and reincarnation and if uh, people can actually come back oh. as animals. So, Kimberly, oh. you're live with John and Dr. Pat. Hi, Kimberly. Thank you for taking my what a call. great question. Yeah. I've, I've, I've always wondered about this certain cat that a past friend had, and unfortunately her daughter passed away when she was very young. And whenever she would talk about her, this cat was just would act differently or kind of would nod its head or 
few things that made me look at it like, hmm, I wonder if I understand what you're saying, connection. Kimberly. Can, can you hear me, Kimberly? Yes. Yeah. Uh, it is my personal belief, and it is my personal belief and understanding, that, that, that we are on like an evolutionary chain. So that we would, in, in the past, previous lives, possibly have been uh, an animal, a dog, an elephant, a cat, yeah? But as we develop spiritually... The, the, the spirit evolves towards paradise to the point where you become a, a perfect spirit and then you become as one with the divine being. Okay. You, it, is not, it is not in my experience or, or my understanding that people regress. You know, we are, okay. we are, we are clearly sentient, intelligent individuals as human beings and articulate but as animals we're, we're not you know we, we, we may be uh, when we have a certain amount of uh, uh, of knowledge as an animal but not uh, with that's not an evolutionary scale so I don't believe that we regress I believe that we progress now you're okay. talking about you're talking about the the cat reacting it may very well be that because cats are extremely psychic creatures that the, that the cat is able to sense the spirit form of this of this child that, that was there and that okay. and that therefore when the name is mentioned that the the, 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 it's actually calling the spirit back. Have you have you heard of the term crying back? It means yeah. that it, it means that uh, when somebody's passed a spirit, if you keep weeping and wailing and crying for them, it, it, they don't want to leave you. They don't see you crying like this. So you're crying the spirit back. You're not allowing the spirit of, of the dearly departed to take their next step into the into the dimension that we mistakenly call death but which is the dimension, the next dimension of life. And okay. if we keep crying them back, then it may very well be that when they're talking about this child, that the, that the child feels guilty and comes back as a spirit and, and that the cat is interacting with that because they do see spirits. Right. Does, okay. that, does, that, does that in some way help? Yes, Absolutely. Yeah, but I, I, I absolutely believe that, yeah. But it's not to say that cats do not have spirits. Cats do have spirits. And, and, and very often uh, you'll find if, if, if you've had two cats and one of them passes, then they still interact because the spirit cat maintains the presence. I see. Have you ever seen that? No, uh-uh. No, no, but but uh, that that is that yeah. is actual fact because uh, the, the spirits uh, uh, of cats and animals are the same that that we have spirits and yeah. we maintain we may we maintain our personality after death and so do spirits right. of of the cats. Thank you very much for calling. A very interesting question. Yeah, thank you. Great, great you. question. Yeah, um, I had a cat that uh, adopted me when I was actually writing my dissertation, and it was a. It was a really tough thing to write about, John. I wrote about broken promises. I studied that for 10 years, and it was hard to write about. And this little cat adopted me, and, you know, uh, she would spend all day long with me. She actually lived down the street and uh, all day, and when she passed on, I was part of that. And her spirit was embodied in what I was writing. And, you know, I never had been able to explain it until you just said what you just said. I never really understood mm -hmm. it until you just explained that right there. Well, okay, well, yeah, the, 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 spirits wow. will, the spirits of the cats will come back. <clears throat> and you would have called wow. the cat back, you know, to say, what do you think about this? I finished it now with your help. <laughs> and you went, you went on and you, your dissertation was a great success, was it not? It was it was a great success. It actually won awards, and so did the papers that came after it. But I will tell you, her spirit was right there, and I don't really understand. I didn't really get it until you just, you know, talked about it. Oh, my gosh, this is so amazing. Let's go to the phones. I know we got people waiting, Taylor. I know you've been so busy. Yeah, yeah, I have been, and uh, we'll head out to Edmonds. Uh, Barbara with a uh, question just on a general reading about the rest of her life. So, Barbara, you're live with John and Dr. Pat. Barbara, a general reading about the rest of your life. Wow. wow. Welcome to the show. 
maybe there's 40 years left. Who knows? Um, <laughs> is is Can you there going me, to be a relationship soon? Yes, Barbara, you, you, yeah, th- th- there is going to be a relationship. Uh, listen, do you know the area called Bellevue? Yes. Mm-hmm. Because there's somebody coming from Bellevue, yeah? You like tall men, don't you? Yes, I do. Because there is a tall man coming, uh, an, an educated man, yeah? Have you in the past been uh, associated with uh, academia? Um. Well, I come from a family of teachers and principals. <laughs> I would say that's <laughs> academia, wouldn't you? I would say that. <laughs> yeah, definitely, because there's a strong academic presence around you, uh, in the spirit world, by the way. Uh, but you, the man that's coming from Bellevue, the area that I hear as I'm speaking, I don't know where Bellevue is, but uh, from this area called Bellevue will have an academic background. It's very possible that he has been a university lecturer. And, and you do you have a fascination for boats, Barbara? Oh, God, I love boats. <laughs> because because this man when he when he comes to you he has a boat. Yay. <laughs> yeah, that's on, he, that's on the list. That sounds just absolutely bliss for you, yeah. But you've got a problem, Barbara. You had a a, a difficult relationship in the past, didn't you? Y- yes, very. Yeah, don't look back. Don't look back. You keep looking back and thinking, I'm not going to risk it. I'm not going down that route again. But you are going down that route again. There is a tall man. And I hear the name. It's, it's not, not a common name, this. I hear the name of Eric. Eric, okay. Eric, yeah. Uh, and, and also, if you look back in your family, do you know if there's any links to Germany? Yes. Mm, because because I can see something to do with Germany. But I'm hearing th- about the area of Germany called Bavaria. Yes. Does that make some sense to you? It's gone all cold around me now. Oh, oh <laughs> yeah, you definitely be. Well, I, you're very I, spiritual, you, Barbara. I've been there, um, you, and I know you, that I've had distant relatives from Germany. So. Yeah, you've been to Ludwig's Castle, haven't you? I have not been to that castle, but I've seen many pictures of it. That is in Bavaria, yeah? Yeah. It, it's not far from Munich, yeah? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Or, or Munchen. Have you actually been to Munich? Um, I've, I don't spend so many years. I don't think I was in Munich for sure. I've been... Um, I can see Munich, I can see Bavaria, I can see Ludwig's Castle. This is where your, rel- your distant distant relatives are from yeah and, uh-huh. and i can see i can see germany it's part of germany yeah yeah uh, bavaria uh, and uh, th- this is all in your path the, the man that's coming into your life also has uh, some some german in him yeah because mm-hmm. there were there were a lot of people from germany came to um, came to america but this man and i do hear the name of eric yeah he's going to be a tall man and he has been in academic work he he, he has been or may still be a lecturer and you are going to find that he's got a boat and he absolutely loves sailing this boat and i believe that it's in a harbor now i don't know if there's a harbor near bellevue but yeah, there is a port yeah, and that's where you're sailing from. You've been a wonderful guest, Barbara. You asked, is there going to be any romance ahead? Yes, there is. And by the way, you, you, you're losing weight, aren't you, Barbara? I sure hope so. <laughs> no, 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 you are losing weight, yeah? You, lose, you are losing weight, and then they'd go to the gym. That's helping you, yeah? I have a chiropractor that makes me work out in his office twice a week after an adjustment. Mm-hmm. That's very good. You're going to do it. And you're looking wonderful, by the way. And by the end of this year, you want a time scale on this. So it's into, de- into early December when you connect. All right. Awesome. Enjoy that, Barbara. And do get Thank in touch with me. Touch. Thank you. Yeah, do get in touch. You know, these are these readings that happen on air, they're really just little snapshots of a much bigger conversation. John, what a super show. Uh, Thank you very you much know, for inviting me. Zip- uh, no, and we're going to do it again next month. Uh, John, please let folks know how they could, again, find out more about you, about your books, and schedule a full session with you, if you don't mind. 
All right, super. Yeah, thanks. Uh, PsychicWorld.net, just go on there. There's a way, there's a form to book me. You can get in touch with me. Send me an email. It's john at PsychicWorld.net. I will respond. We can arrange a, a reading by Skype or telephone. Or if you want me to do this, I can do an email reading for you. And I'd be delighted to do that. Or look me up on Google. Just type in John G. Sutton. There's absolutely loads of stuff there. Or Amazon or iTunes or these days I seem to be everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Dr. Pat, yes, thank you thank very goodness. much for inviting me. Yeah, thank, thank you goodness you are everywhere. You know, you guys out there uh, that uh, called into the show, you know, we uh, John actually gave you quite a bit of information, but there's a lot more to come. John, thank you for a phenomenal show. Amazing. Thank you very much. All right, everybody, we're going to take a short break. Uh, when we come back, yep, more of the Dr. Pat Show, more of Transformation Talk Radio. More of Talk Radio to Thrive by. Stay tuned. We'll be right back, everybody. Transformation Talk Radio, the new mainstream in radio. Hi, this is Leslie Fontaine with Sheer Alchemy on Transformation Talk Radio. And here's your tip of the day. When we choose to release the baggage that's in the way of manifesting our destiny, it doesn't mean that we have to abandon everyone. And if you think that, then you are being held by an energy that can feel extremely negative. If I ask you where you're feeling it, common places being the solar plexus or your heart space, you will notice that the joy is gone. You are withdrawing energetically, pulling back. When we came into this world, it wasn't to be miserable and to tolerate and to live according to the needs and desires of others. So choose now. What are you wanting in your life? Are you hiding behind others and their needs so you don't have to step onto your own life path? Guilt is learned. Let's undo it and get our joy back. Let's switch up the language. Join me on Sheer Alchemy on Transformation Talk Radio or visit LeslieFontaine.com. Are you ready to move past limiting beliefs and unconscious obstacles that are holding you back from financial prosperity? Do you want to be free from debt and that feeling of being disempowered? Mary Jane Allen is a financial healer and joy creation specialist who uses her unique set of tools included in her financial healing process to help her clients move past those beliefs and fears. For more information and to contact Mary Jane, visit her website, manifestyourlifedream.com and begin your financial healing process today. Tune in to Psychic Cup of Coffee with Kelly Sutliff every Tuesday, 1 p.m. Pacific Time, 4 p.m. Eastern Time on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Kelly is a 14-year veteran of psychic ability, and she offers inspiration and comfort to those dealing with grief when they have lost a loved one, and also shares with people that the psychic world is very real. Call 1-800-930-2819 during the show with your questions and visit PsychicMediumKelly.com. That's PsychicMediumKelly.com. If you're one of the millions of Americans suffering from anxiety, you probably know how powerless and out of control this emotion can make you feel. This is why it is so important to remember that anxiety is created by your mind, which means that you can learn to use your mind to uncreate it. Hello, my name is Dr. Friedman Schaub. My award-winning book, The Fear and Anxiety Solution, provides you with a step-by-step -step breakthrough process to understand and resolve the root causes of your anxiety and build a solid foundation of confidence and inner peace. 
If you are ready to take your power back, visit thefearandanxietysolution.com. That's thefearandanxietysolution.com. Or call 866 903 